so we can have this recorded. Okay, good evening. It's November 2nd, and welcome to the weekly Team Boosh call. Um, if you don't know me, I'm Lauren Beely, and I'm the CEO and founder of Team Lipstick and Lunges, and we also combine with um, my sister Jacqueline's team um and she is currently traveling tonight so i am going to be hosting this call so hi everyone excited to see you all i know that last week um, a bunch of us had instead tuned into jimmy's call with the crew so it's nice to see all of you again because uh i think the week before that i was at leadership in california so we had um some of the other diamonds that ran the call so thanks for tuning in as always. Um, I just wanted to go through a few housekeeping things first and then we can get into the meat of the call. So it is November and as you may know, Core de Force, our newest program, just launched uh, a day ago. So super exciting. Uh, this program is... Sorry, I'm hearing some feedback, so I'm just going to mute everybody. Um, so this program is actually going to be a Team Beachbody exclusive for the entire month of November. So what that means is, is that the only way that any customer can get this program this month is through a coach, so through someone like you. So it's really important to share this program throughout the entire month of November to raise awareness with it um, before it starts getting really like marketed through beachbody.com and through all of the marketing channels that they have. So I know that we had a couple strings in um, a bunch of the different coach groups. So I'd really encourage you if you um, ended up getting the program to just share um, on your social media profiles all this month about about it in general. Um, an added bonus is that Beachbody is actually doing a social media contest all this month on Instagram and on Twitter um, for Core to Force, where they are awarding someone a thousand dollars every day for the entire month that is sharing a video, I think, or a picture, but I would say to go with a video. Um, of them doing court of force and all of the details for the um the contest rules are in um hold on one second all the contest details are in um the faq if you search uh, in your coach online office that says um court of force contest or something like that um so Kim Pratt is saying, I know we typically try not to post exactly what program we're doing to generate interest. So I agree. Sometimes it's good to be vague and not to be labeled as a, like a totally crazy beach body coach, like beach body 24 um, seven. I think for this month, you can still be sharing daily what you're doing, whether it has to do with the meal plan, plan, like the workouts, the recipes in the guidebook, like videos of what you're doing. Um, and you can say that it's exclusive this month only um, with when you work with a coach like you. Um, I think it's okay to name drop every once in a while. Like since Core to Force isn't something that's known like the 21 Day Fix either, they may not know that it's Beachbody branded. So I think you'll be okay by doing that. Um, so all of the, you're welcome. All of the information um, should be in the back office now, but Core to Force is going to be the featured um, challenge pack on sale this month. It's $140, which is a great deal when, with a bag of Shakeology or with a performance line. Um, the, just the base kit is also available and the digital unlock. So if um, you are a coach and you'd like to buy the program and have it linked to your Beachbody On Demand, that's all live um, this week now too. So um, I know a lot of us are going to be getting started with it. I personally love the fact that it is a 30-day program. I do better with shorter programs than I do with longer ones. Like right now I'm in week seven of max 30 and I pretty much want to kill myself. Like it's been too long. Like it's hard to remember what week it is. And then like I'm bored of the workouts. 
And personally for me, I feel like it's a lot easier to commit to something that's shorter and to do multiple rounds of it than knowing you have to stick to something for like two or three months. So I think that's definitely like a selling point too. Other pointers about the program are that um, there's no equipment needed, which is awesome. Um, so perfect to do if you're traveling or if um, a, a potential challenger doesn't want to have to invest in additional equipment. And also there are modifier moves for um, every workout. So if there's, you don't have to be like into turbo kick or turbo fire because I'm horrible at those programs. Um, so there are modifiers that are doing that too. So if someone's like new to exercise, they can do that. Oh, Allison is also mentioning, you also get two blue containers for uh, that meal plan, which is pretty sweet too. Extra cheese, thank you, or guacamole, depending on what you like. Um, yes, the program is a little bit di different than the 21 Day Fix. I was actually just looking through it today um, and making a video that I'm going to put together tonight. Um, but the nice thing is it comes with a great... Um, meal guide, like a, a program book like the 21 Day Fix, it helps you calculate what bracket you're in um, and has example recipes too. So um, I think that sometimes it's hard to get creative to figure out how to share a new program, but I think there's a lot of opportunities uh, with this program because the moves are pretty cool. Like you could do some cool boomerangs and stuff with it. I think that there's some good recipes, so you could share the recipes from the book. Um, Joel is gorgeous, so I think you could share shirtless pictures of him. Um, he's pretty dreamy and light on the eyes when you meet him in person as well. So I think that's pretty cool to share. Um, and Jericho is the new mom, and she's beautiful and has amazing hair and, like, rocks top knots and stuff. So I think there's a lot of interesting things that you can share about the program itself. And also, Violet should do core de force. Colleen because I can guarantee that you would probably win one of those thousand dollar videos if you can get her in that so you should make that a personal goal for yourself I would say oh also good to know Jericho is breastfeeding and was breastfeeding during the filming of it so mom friendly I know she was saying that she was trying to use the program to get into like good mom shape so also a good angle to use um but there's, ton of, there's a ton of content in the back office. Um, I know a lot of photos of like the official test group are being released too of the before and after. So I would keep an eye out for that. And yeah, I think it's a really fun program. I'm really excited. Another thing to note is that um, I know in previous years, we had, um, we would usually have the, um, we would usually have a new program that would come out like in the beginning of the year too, like around February. We are not going to be doing that this year. Um, Carl confirmed that during leadership. So Core de Force is really going to be the new IT program, like going into the new year. So personally, what I'm going to be doing, and I believe Jimmy's going to be doing the same thing is um, throughout November and December, I'm going to be doing this program. Um, yes, and if it's not for you, it's okay, but this just personally is what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be um, committing to this program twice because there's like two months left in the year, which is good, um, and just really be documenting the different things that I'm doing um, in hopes that for each of my monthly challenge groups moving forward, um, that people might want to check out that program. And I'm also letting um, my current customers know that they can purchase the program that it's now available um, or if it's just like something new that they want to try to do the digital unlock. So I think it's something that you can talk to new people about and also your current customers. Um, yeah, so that was the main like housekeeping thing. Um, I know a lot of us are also um, in the team spirit uh, with the crew this month. So if you aren't already added to that um, private Facebook group, uh, please let either myself or Jacqueline know. Um, we have a lot of other coaches from the crew from Jimmy's Downline um, and other leaders that are in kind of like that crew to crew level five um, that are going to be popping in and helping out with training and things like that. Um, I'm excited because um, 
a lot of the other leaders that Jimmy has that will be helping out with things are great with video, are great with closing, um, and with social media in general. So I think there's going to be a lot of great things for us to learn um, and to rally together in November. So if you need access to that, please let us know. Um, Allison about the goals. So it's up to you if you want to post your goals in the Team Lipstick and Lunges page or in that spirit page. Um, I know it's double work to post it in both. So I'm really just posting my goals in our team page, but it's up to you. Um, okay, so those were the main things. Um, the other thing really that I just wanted to talk, oh, the hashtags. Ashley, I actually have to look it up. I don't know what the hashtags are for that. I think it's like crew spirit and then like the longest hashtag ever that's like team beach body, team spirit. Yeah, which there's going to be a lot of typos on that one, I feel like. Um, but hopefully since um, Jack and I will be with Jimmy like starting pretty much tomorrow through the end of the weekend, um, we can start to come up with some ideas on like the types of posts that we should be doing um, and we'll let everyone know in that group. So TBD um, with all of that. So the main thing that I really wanted to chat about tonight um, was just about leadership um, and the main themes that um, we talked about at leadership. Cause I know I didn't get to talk to everyone cause we were on like a different team call last week. But so leadership was a really awesome experience. Um, in case you don't know, so once a year there is a leadership retreat uh, for the top um, really leaders of, of beach, beach body coaches. So you have to be a five star or above and have like a certain number of points, which pretty much means that like your, your business is still growing as compared to last year. So this is the first time that I got to go and it was really cool, um, mainly because we were amongst a lot of um, the leaders that a lot of the times that we that we look at that we hear on the national wake-up call or that um, we know that are part of the top 10 or we see in these test groups and are doing like amazing things on social media so it was cool just in general to like meet a lot of them to talk to them and really just to learn that um, they have a lot of the same struggles that we do um, I think what really got me the most is like when you think about it every for every single one of us um I mean when you come to like day one of a month our clock resets like all of us do like we're all back to zero lives helped and resetting our goals um and they still deal with having to onboard new people and reach out to people and being ghosted by people and hearing the same excuses that we do and I think just hearing that from um, other coaches that have been in this business a really long time that have hit like the million club and been super successful. Like hearing that made me feel a lot better. Um, I was chatting with Chelsea Pearson, uh, before she was going on her luxur luxurious surprise trip to Bora Bora from her husband. And, um, just chatting about going full time and some of the things that I felt like I was struggling with. And she completely nodded her head and say, said that she was hearing the same things and that it was normal. So that made me feel really good. Um, but overall, I would say the common theme um, that Carl and that the execs from Beachbody were talking about were just getting back to basics um, in terms of challenge groups and of getting people results. Um, I know some of you that are on this call went to um, the special event that Carl went to, our CEO, um, where he's kind of like making up for when he, he missed the last appearance. Um, but one of the themes that he was saying was that so many times in multi-level marketing groups, um, you don't really focus on what it is that you're selling. It's just like, here's a box and buy 10 of these boxes and then get your friends to buy 10 of the boxes and then sell that box and sell this other box and sell that box and this and that. And it becomes more about like boxes than people or what the heck is inside of the box. And so many times um, the people that are really successful in this business are, um, are people that started off as challengers and that fell in love with the products. And it 
it becomes not about selling, but about naturally recommending these products to someone because it changed your life. Um, and it changed your life for the better. And even if there wasn't a compensation plan with this, you would recommend it to family and friends and starting with your fitness and your health. And that was really what, um, Carl and everyone were, were going back on was going back to basics and making sure that firstly you are focusing on yourself and doing the vitals every day that relate to your fitness. So it's getting your workout in and drinking that, that daily dose of Shakeology because you know that it changes your life and it makes you feel good and you need to work on you before you can serve anyone else. And secondly, is really going back to basics in terms of helping people, helping them find a program that will work with them, that makes sense for them. We have so many different options, um, whether they want to focus on nutrition or fitness or what type of fitness and how much time they have to spend and, and, and things like that, that, um, that you want to make sure that you're pairing up the right program to a challenger or a new coach on your team. Um, and we have a lot to choose from and it shouldn't just be pushing core to force cause it's on sale. There are plenty of other programs that we have. Um, and then just really engaging in your challenge groups and making them fun and making sure that people see those results. Um, because when they get the results after the 30 or 60 days or whatever they did to, to get started, um, it's a lot easier of a conversation to have if they, about taking the next step to become a coach, whether it's just for the discount or it is, um, because they're exhibiting the, the habits and the traits that an actual coach has, um, when they already got the results and they've, they love the products like we love the products. So there were some really great examples from top coaches there about what they do in their challenge groups for engagement. Um, and it was things outside of like the flex Friday and water wasted Wednesday and things like that. So, um, I'll be creating some images on Canva to share in the team page with all of you to give you some ideas on things. Um, but it was just really making sure that you keep track, track of those challengers. You treat them as a person and not a number of points. Um, and really offering that right amount of accountability and having that conversation up front about how to stay accountable um, and how they want to be accountable and, and what their goals are. So that's, that was like the main thing. Um, and really what I want to encourage everyone to focus on through the end of the year, um, because I know it's what I'm going to be focusing on is making sure that I have like a set list of who all of those people are. Cause so many times it's like, really easy to lose track of people too when you have them in the challenge tracker and this and that and have people been in for a few months or not and blah 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 so um so yeah that was like the main thing that we were focusing on okay allison hold on one second i saw your hand i just unmuted you can you hear me yeah okay no because um i went to the super sunday in miami and christina delgado they did a lot about um you know, talking about leadership. And I think Christina was saying how she's now starting with Court of Force and tell, she's becoming a challenger again and kind of remembering where, you know, she started from and kind of just telling everyone, like, look, I'm starting in the trenches with you. I'm with you, you know, the whole way with the meal plans and the struggles and kind of remind, remember, reminding all of us of where we started. And she was also, you know, saying that, yes, we all look to onboard, you know, you know coaches to get to different ranks, but that the best coaches were customers when, you know, customers first and not, you know, and really kind of, like you said, got the results. And it was like a natural, more natural transition um, to having that conversation about becoming a coach than quickly just onboarding everyone for the numbers, you know, and the rank advancement, which is important. But like you said, it's helping people um, and not just being, you know, um, selling all the challenge packs. Exactly. Um, Exactly. Yeah. And I think just sharing to go, Jack, I unmuted you too. Um, sharing just like going through, um, like the meal prep and the fact that it takes time, but that we're all going through the same thing. And like, 
I can say, and I think that this is probably relatable, like I know when I religiously follow my containers that I feel and look differently than I have in the past couple months. So sometimes it's just like, okay, it's time to go back to basics. And I know this works and I know it's something that I can go back to. And if I can do this, you can do this too. And I'll help guide you throughout it. I agree. Cause, um, first of all, hello. I miss everyone on here. <laughs> um, like I just wrote, I gained 15, like, I'm not even kidding. I gained 15 actual pounds during vacation. It was great. So, um, but I agree with what Lauren's saying. I know if you're on my team, you know I always sign people up as discount coaches. And why I don't discount a discount coach, there's been something that's been disconnecting the past few months because I've had people want to join coaching for the opportunity. Like, and I was so stoked on that. I'm like, wow, people want to join me and right off the bat, like, join in on the opportunity. But the problem was, they weren't being challengers first. And then I was throwing them into coach basics and they were like, what the hell am I doing? I don't even know what Shakeology is. I haven't drank it consistently for 30 days. So it's like, I'm reworking myself. And of course I'll share how it works out with others, but I'm like, you know, maybe as a prerequisite to coach basics, you have to have been a challenger for 30 days or something like that. But like, it just goes to show the importance of actually believing in the products. Cause I never think anyone should ever, you know, preach about something they're not actually using or seeing results with themselves. So yeah, I think starting with fitness, just going back to fitness will be amazing. And August was one of my better months this, this year. And it was because I was like following to a T the 21 day fix. And I was documenting like every single thing of it. So, and thanks for bringing that up. That's another good point. So, um, another thing that they had mentioned at leadership was that, um, they literally showed us a stat of the total network, like the total 500 thousand or so coaches and like who's made up of inactives versus like discount coaches versus hobby coaches and like leader coaches. And they've seen a really big shift um, in this past year of first off discount coaches, which is great. I mean, if people are signing up for the discount of it, that's great. But they're also seeing that there's been an uptick of, um, of coaches that are signing up as a coach right off the bat and then quitting within the same year, which is likely because they didn't fall in love with the products. They didn't, they weren't a challenger and saw the real results and they were instead being enticed by the types of posts that come from probably top coaches that say, I paid off my mortgage. I bought my beach house. I paid off my credit card debt, those types of things and leading with the money which if you were on the call with Nicole Walters last week um, with Jimmy's team, we, she did some research on MLMs and why people tend to set, stay in them. And it's really because of the community. Um, money is lower on the list of why people tend to be a part of our business. So, I mean, I will admit I'm guilty of sometimes leading with um, the financial opportunity because it has changed my life and it's now my full-time career. But um, I think I think it's a balance um, and it's figuring out the right balance for you of, of sharing the community and the accountability and your love of the products. And then obviously you can still talk about the, the financial gains of it um, as more of that like third or fourth benefit in your life, um, but definitely not leading with it. Um, so yeah, I hope this is helpful. Um, I'm really excited just to go back to basics and to document a program like 100% because honestly, this year I haven't really done anything 100%, I feel like. <laughs> um, when are you starting it, Laura? Starting on Monday? So here's the thing. I can start it Monday, but I'd still be in week eight, eight of max 30. So it's like I could do one week of double workouts, which wouldn't be a bad thing if you want to okay. be doing it like the same days. I'm starting Monday, just saying. Okay, okay. so I'll start Monday as well. Um, so if anybody else wants to do that too, I also think that like in our Get Fit and Fabulous group, which my team is in, I think it'll be really great. Like if you're doing workouts to share it in there too, um, because I know that we have a lot of people 
that are like, there isn't as much participation, but there's like 500 people in that group. Um, so just continuing to talk about new things um, and sharing it, I think will be a good thing. Um, that's all that I really want. Jack, did you have anything? I just want to say I love you all. Like, honest to goodness. First of all, I'm so jealous of everyone that went to Super Saturday. Like, I asked my boyfriend. I was almost in tears. I was like, I miss my team. Oh, I was, I was so sad. No, I, I was crying at home, like here. <laughs> I was crying, and then I cried during my workout that day. Like, oh, yeah. I, I was like, should I be living here? I, <laughs> I started bawling in the gym, and there were other people there. It was really embarrassing. Crazy. And fun fact, there's no Super Saturdays in Virginia Beach, Virginia. So... <laughs> Didn't make it to Super Saturday, but um, I've been watching you guys and all of your posts, and you guys are just killing it. So I just want to say continue to do so. Corey Muller is like, I can't even handle her right now. If you guys have not seen her picture that our friend Amanda did, like, get ready. And fun fact, in the new year, you could, too, probably have a picture like that if you are Diamond in the Move. So... <laughs> We didn't announce that, but we might as well just. We're not. No, no, I'm just saying it's a sneak peek. I don't know the specifics of it yet. Just well, saying. Let's just announce it. It's just easier. All right. Well, if you're a diamond and above, sometime in January, you'll be getting your own little photo shoot with Amanda, which if you did last year, we had Philip, and Philip's phenomenal, but he's, he's got a work. video than picture. Yeah. Um, yeah. Amanda knows her shit. You've seen Lauren's photos, you've seen mine, and now Corey is the next victim of Amanda amazingness. Yeah. Um, so, we, we're like not telling enough info. So, pretty much what we're saying is that so for Super Saturday in January, which most of your locations should have already disclosed that Super Saturday is on the 7th, or if you live somewhere where it's Super Sunday, it would be the 8th. Um, so, for January, Jacqueline and I will be back in Philly um, because we will be there um, for Christmas and we're staying through Super Saturday. So we're very excited. Jack, I already got my tickets. Did you get yours? No, I have to right now. Oh, go get it. Um, and what we were thinking of doing then as well is having like a holiday party right after Super Saturday to have it all in one day so that the people from New York um, who usually come in could just do everything like on one Saturday It'd be easier. Um, and yeah, it, I have to determine Amanda should be available that day. Yeah, but we're going to, we're going to talk to Amanda, which maybe you should just text her like right now. I will. Um, um, but Kim, if you wanted your pictures taken, go to Amanda, like right now, she'll do them for such a great price. Just do them. Yeah. It's definitely better than that. Love it. Yeah. So yeah, we'll have, we'll make a post about qualifications and everything, but just save the date and make sure you get to Philly super Saturday if you're in the area. Yep. Um, Bonnie. Love that girl. I know. Um, okay. So I think that was the main things that I had. Did anyone have any questions or shout outs or anything that they wanted to chat about? Did I know? Oh, one other thing I guess I wanted to say too. So I know a lot, I know some of the people on this call I was doing like weekly check-ins with just in terms of accountability. So I was talking to the Diamonds about this. Um, I think in terms of production of productiveness and um, product protecting everyone's time. Um, I would really love if you would put your monthly goals on that picture um, that is in the Team Lipstick and Lunges page. And I'm happy to have weekly check-ins with, um, with coaches if you take the initiative to check in with me like one day a week, just like pick a set day and let me know what the day is going to be. And like, you can do the check-in. I'm not going to, to, chase anyone but I'm always here and happy to help um, and otherwise on that group picture I'll be doing like weekly or like every 10 day check-ins to see how everyone's trending towards their goals I think it's a great way to keep accountable um, when you write them out to the universe and they're all there it makes it real as opposed to like being in your head or being too scared to share them. Um, so the post is already up for November. So if you didn't write them out, I would love to hear you. I would love to, to see them. 
Um, yeah, so I think that's it. That's it. Okay, cool. All right. Well, as always, thanks for jumping on. We appreciate you taking the time. Oh, we should do a picture. Oh, God. Jack, you're going to look great. Okay. The pineapple is out of this world. If anybody who doesn't have video on wants to put their their picture up now, let me know. Stephanie. Grab the cord. It's Jessica. I can't see Jessica at all. Jessica's iPhone. Stephanie. Look at there, Stephanie. Oh my gosh, Violet's so Oh, right. happy birthday, Stephanie Snock. Woo! It's Stephanie's birthday today. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, pretty girl. Okay. All right. I'm going to get ready for the picture so everybody get ready. Okay. Smile in three, two, one. Hopefully that took it. That right. worked. I don't know. I think it did. Yeah, it did. I see it. Cool. All right. So um, if you have any questions, let us know. Hope you're loving the Corps de Force. We'll keep you posted on Team Spirit. And as always, thanks for checking in. We love you guys. Love All right. you.